A self-confessed white van man and his estate agent partner have been named the winners of Britain's biggest ever lottery jackpot. Nigel Page and his partner Justin Laycock from Sirencester in Gloucestershire won £56 million in Friday's Euromillions draw. They told us how they found out about their win and how it made them feel. Um, and it was uh, Saturday morning, we were, um, me and my daughter were sat at the um, dining room table having our breakfast. And we had the, uh, the news on and um, it just happened well. They mentioned it on there that two people who won, one person in Spain, one person in uh, Britain. So I said to uh, my daughter, All right, we better go and check our uh, numbers. You never know, we might have won. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we, fin anyway, we finished off our breakfast and um, potted into the other room, put the laptop on logged on to the, um, my account with the National Lottery and it popped up on the screen straight away. Congratulations, you have won £56 million. Pounds. Been used for quite a while actually. I know we were, yeah. until um, the lady from Camelot, when we met the lady from Camelot and she actually said it came out of her lips, didn't it? And mm. we were like, oh my God, this is an opportunity to help so many people and give back to the community because we've got such a, a a wonderful town and some wonderful people and some wonderful family and friends. Yeah. You know, so it is an awful lot of money. Um, but we are going to spend that very, very wisely. We're not, you know, just going to go and no, blow we're it. No, not like that anyway, are we? No. Quite down to earth, I Exactly. Think. So what do Britain's largest lottery winners plan to spend their money on? Well, we're going to go uh, thinking back in a, a new house. A new house. And then a Yeah, maybe yourself, uh, I'll get myself it? a new car because I haven't had a car for to myself for what, 10 years, because I'm a, a white van man. <laughs> and Nigel, a skydiving enthusiast, has some more unusual plans. I've always said to my friends, actually, who I skydive with, you know, if I ever win the lottery, I'm going to build a wind tunnel. And they, uh, so yeah, I'm... Uh, You've had a few I'd tests, like to, haven't you? I'd like to do that. And with £56 million to spend, how did Nigel treat his partner on the Valentine's weekend? I, I planned on actually going out on the Saturday morning while she was still in bed and uh, getting her, you know, some flowers and chocolates and a card. But you know, what with uh, one thing and another, we, uh, I never really got round to doing it, did I? No, you had been shaking far too much <laughs> to get your wallet out your pocket anyway. And after eight years together, do they plan to finally tie the knot? We've we've always been very happy the way we yeah. are, haven't we? And we've never really felt the need, have no. we? Because like I say we're we're a very happy family. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Maybe one day, maybe not. We'll see.